London, England is incomplete without a visit to Dishoom, one of six locations at the time of making this video. The first one opened in 2010 and they are all modeled after the Irani cafes of former Bombay, now known as Mumbai. These were really trendy and popular in the 60s and today only about 30 remain. We passed up the Kensington location for the Coven Garden one and I wondered if the rumors of the long lineup were true. As we approach the restaurant, I can tell that this is totally a thing. You can't get a reservation after 5.45 p.m. at Dishum unless you're in a group of six or more. Tables are reserved for walk-ins or really the people that are freezing in the lineup. It was nippy that day, but the staff outside was really friendly and served us warm tea and coffee to keep us going. We were told that the wait could be an hour and 10 minutes, but we busied ourselves with the anticipation of the meal and peering at the patrons from the glass windows. We finally get a seat at the bar 45 minutes into the wait while our table is being cleaned. The bar staff are amazing. They're friendly and they love the camera. Bonus! I order a Kohinoor Fizz. At 8.50 quid, it, it's certainly not cheap and it's more than double than what I would pay for a drink at home, but it's delicious. My hubby tried a Colaba Colada, a virgin take on the Pina Colada, and our friends stayed true to a good old Kingfisher beer. The decor is modern, yet reminiscent of the Bombay cafes with its old and traditional portraits that line the walls. This venue has two levels. The bottom level is intimate and cozy, but we opt to be upstairs so that I can keep my eyes on the kitchen. If you're wondering about the name Dishoom, it means nothing really. It's just a fight sound made in Bollywood movies and it's comparable to a comic kapow. The menu is exhausting. I literally had to pull out my glasses to read it. Dishoom operates on a family style concept. You can either order small sharing plates to start or you can order the entire meal at one time. As with most things Indian, there are no rules. At this point, we're starving, so we quickly order some lamb samosas and koliwara prawns, my favorite. Both of these are wolfed down and we're ready to order again. The server and manager are super nice and they really make sure we're well taken care of. While we wait for our mains, I leave my hubby to catch up with an old friend while I take a closer look at the kitchen. Dishum, to put it mildly, is a well-oiled machine. Orders are filed and executed like clockwork. Some of the staff are equipped with headphones for smooth communication. arrives and I'm so excited I can barely hold the camera. Naan's Kali Dal, the house special, lamb chops, biryani and a plate of sheikh kebabs. Our friend enjoys another kingfisher, an old Indian favorite, while I opt for a nimbu pani, a traditional lime juice with spices, and my hubby nurses his colaba colada. The food is good, but one thing you do have to remember 
it's not the Bukhara, especially when you're ordering something like a biryani. It's delicious, but it's a lot milder, which is typical as would be served in an Irani cafe. The lamb chops were delicious and they were cooked to perfection. We eat and eat and eat and we're so stuffed that we opt out of dessert. On a side note, make sure to visit the bathrooms when you're there. The ladies was outfitted with pictures of male wrestlers and the stalls are stocked with Indian essentials for decorative purposes. Adorable. As I leave, I take one last look at Dishum and I know I will be back again. Until the next time, Dishum. Namaste, Adab, Sasteakal and Toodles.